All right, so now we're gonna be looking at the last code, and this is what we call the gray code. And how this works is very different to the other codes we were looking at, but also very simple. So what we have to do is, we're gonna be converting this number here. So it's um, 101101, all right? And that's in binary, and then we're gonna convert that into gray code. So what we do is we write down the number. So 101101. So there's the number we have in binary. And we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first number. Now this is the most important part because if you forget to bring down this bit, it's gonna cause a problem. So the first bit we bring down. Okay, so that's why I've got it in this um, in this orange arrow here. So you bring that bit down and you put it over here for the answer. Then what you do is you go back to the top and you say one plus zero. And we know one plus zero in binary is one. And the sum, the answer of that is one. So one plus zero is one. Then we go to the next number. Zero plus one is one. Then we go to the next number. One plus one is zero and usually it's zero carry one but like I wrote here when you're adding and you get a one plus one you just ignore the carry so one plus one is zero again one plus one is zero ignore the carry one plus zero is one and zero plus one is one so that's what we do so again let me repeat this we drop down the first number over here so we drop down the one and then we say one plus zero and we write down the answer one. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is zero. Ignore the carry. One plus one is zero. Ignore the carry. One plus zero is one and zero plus one is one. And there's the answer in gray code. So I just wrote the radix as gray and yeah, there you can see it there. There's the final answer. Now, if they ask us the other way around, so to reverse the process, they can sometimes give us the gray code number and say convert it back to binary. So what I've done is I've taken the same number. So there's the answer that we just got from, um, from binary to gray. So there's the gray answer. And I've written it down here on top in green. And we're going to convert it back to binary now. So we're going to see if we can get it back to the original number. So all we do is, just like before, we take the first digit and we drop it down here. And then instead of adding across, well this time we're going to add diagonally. See the direction of the arrow. So we're going to say 1 plus 1 is 0. And we ignore the carry. 1, or sorry, 0 plus 1 is 1. And 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And again, we get one plus one is zero. Ignore the carry. Zero plus one is one. And there you can see now the answer is um, one zero one 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 zero one, which is the same answer that we began with in the first example. So now we're back into binary. So again, you can see the, the differences of the two. So when we go in from binary to gray we drop down the first number and then we add across we add across in gray to binary over here gray to binary we drop down the first number and then we add diagonally and we put the answer down here diagonal and then the answer there so yeah just remember if you don't bring down this first one in both um, either to binary or gray um, or grade to binary, you're going to end up short at the end here. So you'll find that there won't be a number here at the end. And then you know you've made a mistake. So that's um, the gray code.